I'm going to show you a simple example of how to use the Azox credit card extension with Dynamics GP. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create with Integration Manager a batch of sales invoices that I've received from an external source. In this case it's going to be a Salesforce system. I'm going to take that information, turn it into sales invoices within Dynamics GP and then use the Azox credit card extension piece to create credit card payments and also process those payments through a gateway. And then I'm going to post that in Dynamics GP. So let's take a look at it. Starting in GP, I'm going to go into the integration manager. And I've created this integration. Let's take a look at it. This is a simple integration. This is my input data here. It's very simple. It has a customer name in it. It's got the item from the item master file and then the current price. So let's run that integration. And again, what it's going to do is it's going to create invoices in Dynamics GP. And I'm going to take those invoices and I'm going to use Azox credit card extension to create the payments and also process those payments. So the integration is done. Let's take a look at the batch in GP. And this is an example of one of the invoices that I just created using Integration Manager. To use the Azos credit card extension feature, there's two steps that I take. The first one is I'm going to look up the batch and I'm going to save it, meaning I'm going to set it aside for credit card processing. So I'm going to do a simple sales transaction. This is going to authorize and also settle the payment with a credit card processor at the same time. So let me look up the batch ID. This is the batch that we just created. I'm going to redisplay that, and you'll see all the invoices right there. So what I want to do is I'm going to mark all, and then I'm going to save it. That is step one. Next, I'm going to actually create the payments, authorize and create those payments through the gateway. So let's do that. Open up batch processing here. And again, it's going to be a sales type transaction. Let me redisplay that. Here are all the saved credit card transactions. They're ready to be processed. So I'm going to hit mark all and then process. You'll see that the system is going out to the gateway and you can see the numbers processing over on the right hand side. Now let's take a look at some of the output reports. Here's a report of all the approved credit cards and you can see those here. Then I intentionally put some bad numbers in there and you can see that that's coming back from the processor as an invalid account. So let's take a look at one of those individual invoices and look at the payment associated with it. Here's one of the invoices here. You can see this is a normal invoice. This is the one that I imported and then I processed the payment and created a deposit for me automatically. I can click on that, link back into the detail, select a payment, and you can see the details of that authorization here. I've got an authorization code, and you can see that the credit card number is encrypted in the database and just showing the user the last four digits. So now all, it, now all I have to do is go back and post that batch. So I go to the batch window right here, and then I'm going to post that. Now it's going to post most of those with the credit card payments. The ones that have been declined are going to go in as regular receivables. So you can see it's a relatively simple process to process a large number of credit card payments in Dynamics GP when you use the Azox credit card extension product. If you've got a similar situation, make sure that you check it out.